retinoic acid is tretinoin names. Okay. So retinoic acid and tretinoin, retin-A, that is all the same. Tretinoin is one of the things it becomes in the body, okay? And therefore it is synthesized and made into products. Okay. And these products are then what you what you buy and they come in different forms. The most, the most, the most studies that have been shown have been with tretinoin. Okay, so tretinoin slash retinoic acid. Tret retinoic okay. acid. And it's fantastic. Retinoic acid is fantastic on the skin, and it is. It's fantastic. But it is at higher doses an irritant. And so people have come down and down and down. So there are 0 0.01, 0 0.025, point, you know, very low concentrations versus the high concentrations. The irritating effects of retinoic acid is put it in virgin coconut oil. That's right. And this is sort of the secret magic potion that a lot of people who are her patients love. I hoard my stash like it's liquid gold. And retinoic acid happens to be an anti-inflammatory. This is just something that people are discovering many, many more studies on so that it is now used for many other things, not just in the skin. Sorry, one more important note about retinoic acid. It is in an oral medication as well for severe cystic acne. Fantastic. The, really, really good. The thing is to remember with retinoic acid, let your doctor know if you are pregnant or trying to get pregnant because it is a known teratogen. So it, it definitely is something to monitor. Uh, or if there's a risk of you getting pregnant, you can't be on the oral uh, retinoic acid. The things to know, retinoic acid, tretinoin, same thing, right? They're both drugs. They're medical, like pharmaceutical drug drugs. So you need a prescription to get them. If you are really interested in tretinoin, absolutely talk to your doctor about it to see what's right for you. And remember, as in all active ingredients, you better wear that sun and light screen day in, day out, whenever you're using active treatments, especially retinoic